These are true facts about the star-nosed mole. <laughs> Holy crap, did you see? The star-nosed mole is a mole that looks a bit like a plush toy that was squeezed too hard and whose insides are starting to come out one end. It makes its home tunneling in soft, moist, marshy soil. Oh, God, stop doing that. The star-nosed mole is a carnivore, but it is functionally blind, and instead of sight, it relies on a remarkable adaptation, its tail. Just kidding. It's the nose. Even though the star-nosed mole's nose looks like it snorted a firecracker up each of its nostrils and then lit the fuse to the point where real stars are frankly offended by the comparison, it is an astonishing sensory organ. However, this nose is less about smelling as it is about touching. Each of its 22 nose tentacles is covered with thousands of tiny touch receptors called the too lazy to look this up. What? Are you kidding me? You wrote that in the script? Fine, I'll just make it up. Tiny touch receptors called my writer's an idiot and his wife lo Oh, Imer's organs. Thank you. These Imer's organs can sense microscopic differences on surfaces they come in contact with. And because of this, the star-nosed mole is the fastest eating mammal in the world. It can identify something as edible and consume it in as little as 120 milliseconds, which is this long. To understand this, put on a blindfold and have your friend hold out an object in front of your mouth. Now lick it and decide to eat it in this amount of time. Sorry, you just ate a piece of cat poop. Try again. No, that was a pencil, which he stuck in cat poop. The star-nosed mole is constantly groping the world around it, up to 13 separate areas of the ground every second. To the worm, the star-nosed mole's nose looks like a little worm orgy party, and it's like... Hey, fellas, mind if I join? Oh, that tickles. Wait, someone's using their teeth. Oh, crap. Little is known about its social habits, but we do know that the star-nosed mole's testicles swell up to 9% of its body mass during mating season. If you were a 200-pound man, that would be roughly the size of a bowling ball which would make it hard to ride a bicycle. But the star-nosed mole doesn't ride a bicycle. Remarkably, it spends much of its time hunting for underwater prey in streams and ponds. That's a terrible transition. It made no sense. It is one of the few mammals that can smell underwater, blowing bubbles and inhaling them as it swims. We have no footage of this, but get into a bathtub and try to sniff one of your bubbles. Trust me, it's not easy. If you ever thought your nose was too big, just remember... Oh, stop that. Just kidding. Of course we had the footage. This is the BBC, people. They've got footage of the inside of your face.